Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to YRR Help and today I'm going to show you how to traverse a folder in Java 8. So basically you would have used a file class before to traverse a folder but in this video I'm going to show you how to use a Java new APIs like Java Enniver Path and Java Streams API to traverse a folder in um, Java 8 kind of style. So basically in this video what we're going to do is we're going to pass input as JDK 1.8 this particular path and uh, we're going to show you how to traverse entire entire directory including files and directories and I'm also going to show you how to traverse only files excluding directories and I'm also going to show you how to traverse uh, recursively recursively by mean you know including files in subdirectories right now let's get started so basically as I said before uh, I'm gonna use a new API called Java NIWA path which is introduced in Java 7 it's inbuilt you don't have to you know download any jars etc so as I said uh, a path is represented in a path class in Java 8 well uh, how do we construct path class it's very simple what we have to do is you just have to use something called paths utilities so this is an utility class and uh, it will help you to convert a string uh, to a path representation in java all right now as i said you have to pass a string and i'm gonna pass uh, jdk java home path right now let me just import it and while importing make sure that you are importing uh, niwo.filepath and you don't import anything else all right now i have a path instance now what i can do is i can do a lot of cool stuff like i can say i can convert into the whole legacy file and i can check wh what it's starting with and ending with and etc etc so there are cool methods you can just have a look at it now but the thing which we are interested in is something like another class which is files utility so I mean it's a files class which is an utility and uh, don't confuse with the world legacy file and files file is a legacy file system and files is a NIO, NIO API class right now uh, again this files class has so many utility methods and one which we are interested in today is something called walk method so walk method what it does is it will take an input as a path and it will return all the sub files sub directories available in the particular path and it will return as a stream and if you guys don't know what is stream please have a look at java 8 new functionalities or new APS right now uh, I'm just gonna pass uh, this path and as I said before, it will return a stream of paths. All right, it will have all the paths wrapped inside a stream. Now let me just name as sub path, right? <coughs> Import. Now it's showing some error. It's asking me to you know handle some exceptions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, Java 7 new feature called try with the resource and I'm going to embed it inside a try itself. The reason because you know if you are worrying about you know closing a stream or closing a file you don't have to worry now because this try uh, try with the resource it's going to automatically close streams and files for you. Right now I'm just going to add a catch class. It's very very simple. Alright, now that you have a stream of all the sub parts, you can do anything you want. Let's say for example, I'm just going to loop through each and every path and I'm just going to print it. Right now, uh, I'm sure you are aware of lambda expressions and method references. You can either use lambda expressions or method re references. Now, uh, let me just show you with uh, lambda expression how to do that. Right it's very simple it's it's still gonna work or else what the way I would like to do is I would like to use method references instead of so whenever there is a possible of using method references 
it's very simple to use so I'm just gonna say system dot out all right and print alarm it's very simple let me just run this program now all right as you can see you have a huge list here although we have like five or six folders here the reason because as I said by default it's gonna traverse uh, in subfolders also inside subfolders it's gonna travels recursively until you reach that end but uh, let's just say you don't want all those junk you just want the list available in particular path now what you can do is you can specify you know the level of traversing you want if you want to traverse just the one level I mean just this particular directory if you don't want to go into the sub directories you can give a traverse level as one right now let's let, let's say for some reason if you want to traverse into only the subfolders but not the folders inside subfolder i mean it's kind of confusing so uh, let's just think it as how many levels you want to traverse so keep it simple so uh, i just want to traverse first level so i'm just saying as one all right now let me show you what happens if i run this one well, as you can see the list is somewhat better now it's because as i said it's it's just going through the first level of uh, traversing then now let's just assume that you don't want the directory listing you just need the files i mean what are the files like text files html files well everything except subfolders now you can use you know streams filter and you can just say if uh, you can just uh, you know, return if it's a particular file now uh, for this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something called files utility class again and in that I have a method called is regular file well this function is gonna tell me if it's a regular file or not all right so I can use this class in filter filter files oops sorry files is regular file right now I will get only the regular files as an output let's say if you want only directories then you can just say is directories function it's very simple now let me just run this one right now you have only files nothing else alright so this is about you know how to traverse directory in Java 8 now uh, one more thing I just want to add one more thing here let's say if you want to you know collect this and list instead of uh, you know this uh, printing just printing if you want to collect it, collect it as an array list what you can do is, is instead of using this for for each you can just say collect and this is not related to this video but I'm just telling you guys I mean, collectors and to list right now you will have this entire parts in a, a list format obviously you have to you know, list a string supports list right okay let me import it all right the thing is that the stream is in path but we're trying to store it in string here so let me just map it I mean let me just convert it to string right one thing is you can use a lambda expressions like this p dot to string right it would work but as I said I would like to use a uh, object references whenever okay objects to string right now uh, let me just print this array list and let's see what happens sorry it's not actual array list it's just a list right now you have in uh, list format now you can you know return return it to the receiver or uh, it's up, it's up to you guys how do you want to handle it 
So thanks for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe us and don't forget to hit the like button.